Hey, I'm Jan Ape. I'm with the Global Economic Dynamics team at the Bertelsmann Foundation and with me is Robert Kozara from Tableau Software. Hey, Robert. Hi. Robert, data visualization opens up a new dimension of understanding. How does that work? Well, we, are, we have a very powerful visual perceptual system, so we are able to see patterns in visual things that we look at, it's, whether it's the natural world, whether it's visualizations, and so we're able to very quickly pick out patterns, pick out structure from, from what we're seeing, and so we're able to, to understand the data on a, on a higher level, because we're not looking at just like the, the low-level data points, we're actually understanding their overall structure, and we see we can find the, the bigger items in there. Very interesting. So how would you describe the importance of visualizing data for people and for society? Well, it's a much easier way to get people to understand data, because otherwise you'd be looking at numbers, and numbers aren't exactly very interesting for people. So you want to get people to actually look at, or to, to actually use the data, or, or, or engage with the data, but you can't do that by, through tables. So giving them images that they can not only look at, that, that look interesting, but that also they can interact with and, and get new insights from by filtering, by selecting and so on, gives them much more interesting ways of actually interacting with the data and giving them, and hopefully then making them actually want to understand more about the data and the background and the context and so on. And so where do we stand today? What have we reached so far? Well, I think there are a lot of very good visualization tools out there, a lot of visualization techniques that work really well that depict particular types of data. There are certainly things that we can still improve, especially for like uh, graphs and networks. There's a lot of, of work still to, to be done for when they get very large. For small ones, we have some really good techniques. We have good techniques for data in general, for relational data. But I think there's still this part missing where we understand how we're going from analysis or exploration to presentation and communication of data, where people actually can make a point using visualization and, and get something across to people and not just show them the data. And I think that's kind of what, where, we're, where we're heading, hopefully. And do you have a favorite data project that you did during the last years? That I did or that, that somebody else did? Either way, either okay. what you did or um, Another project from someone else that you say, well, that's really amazing? Well, so one, one that I really liked is from a few years ago. It's called theyrule.net. Uh, Josh Ahn built this data, or, or he scraped this database of uh, the boards of publicly listed companies in the US. They have to, to report the, their, their officers on their board to the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission. And that data, in theory, is public, but nobody actually bothers to actually go in and actually look at it. And so what he built is this very neat website where you can start with one company, like you pick Coca-Cola, and then you can look at, at the board of directors for that company, and then you can pick somebody, somebody in on that board and see where else they are. And you can find all these really interesting connections between companies that way. And that's a really cool project because it's taking public data, data that already is public, and actually makes it accessible and really makes it public now because people now can actually access it and understand it and play with it rather than it being public in theory, but it's just kind of still kind of stashed away somewhere where it's not really practical for people to actually get it. All right, so if I understand correct, that's already about showing connections between yes. items. And so uh, we're here at the launch event for our tool that we built, GetViz. And GetViz is a tool for visualizing uh, relational economic data. And it's about a new perspective on the complex relations and dependencies of finance, debt, trade, migration flows. So that's a whole new challenge of visualization, I think. And how would you rate the importance of making these relations visible? Well, it's certainly very important. People need to understand not just the, the few headlines they read in the newspapers. They need to understand much more deeply how money and people and things move between countries and understand what, what those things mean and how this, this is changing over time. And I think this is really incredibly important to, to give people a better understanding of what all the politics that they hear about, all the news stories to hear about, to give them much more context for that and to give them a better understanding of how the world works in the end, how, how countries work and how, uh, how they deal with each other. And I guess the visualization is already quite challenging, but then what does that also mean for new forms of storytelling? Well, that's I think is really the interesting thing about GetVis is that it's not just about the visualization, it's also about turning the visualization and the, the individual views into a story mm -hmm. and having a bit of text associated that tells you what the points are and then being able, as a viewer, 
to walk through those and, and actually follow the story along. So you don't have to read the text and then look at the visualization and then kind of go back and forth, but you actually have the whole thing there. So I think that's really the next step is to, to turn facts and, and insights into actual presentations, into little stories that people can then consume and understand and, and, and hopefully then also dig deeper after they've done that. And are there any trends that you would dare to foresee in data visualization uh, in the next years? What's your vision of data visualization? I think a lot more of that is moving to the web. So there are some really good web native and web enabled tools out there that create some really good, useful, interactive experiences. And I think we're going to see a lot more of that. And that hopefully will also get people more to understand how useful visualization is and how it's not just about making pretty pictures out of the data, but actually turning it into something that, that's useful and interesting to them, that they can understand things more easily because they can actually follow the visualization. And then of, of hopefully also the whole idea of turning data or turning visualizations into these little stories and turning a lot of data journalism that today is very much about finding the data and cleaning the data, turn it more into a visual way of doing journalism that can actually report information, report facts based on the numbers, but then still give people the ability to dig deeper or to find their own story. And that all obviously being done using visualization. All right, so still a long way to go. Oh yes. Thanks Robert <laughs> for sharing your thoughts.